If we tried using our calculators to express sine 60 plus cos 60 in exact form, we'd have a hard time. Right now, if we type sine 60 into our calculator and press equals, it gives us 0 0.866, and those numbers go on forever because it's an irrational number. Over here, cos 60, if we type that into our calculator, we'll get 0 0.5. So sine 60 plus cos 60, the best answer we could come up with using our calculator, 1.366, and once again we have another irrational number, so we wouldn't have this in exact form. Now the table on the right actually gives us the list of values in exact form, so if I go back to sine 60, we have the square root of 3 over 2, so instead of sine 60, I could write it as the square root of 3 over 2. Now if you place that into your calculator, Square root of 3 divided by 2 press equals, you'll see it gives you 0 0.866. And that's an exact value. We don't have any decimals here, we have the whole thing. Now we have to place cos 60, and we have cos 60 over here, that's a half, so 1 over 2. So because I have the same denominators, I can write this as the square root of 3 plus 1 all over 2. Now the problem is, how do you remember this long list of values to answer questions like this? Well, we'll go through that now. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these two triangles, we're going to set fixed lengths to them, and we're also going to set some angles inside of them. And those angles and the lengths that we have on the sides are going to be used to create that long list of values that we just saw on the previous page. So you might want to try doing this with me as I go through this. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a 90 degree triangle. It's an isosceles triangle. So this side here is exactly the same is that side there, same lengths. And this one we're going to say it's one unit long. So if that's one unit long, how long is this one going to be? It's going to be one as well. Now what you're going to do is find the length of this hypotenuse here. Now it's a good exercise to learn how to find these by yourself because you're going to need to use this quite often. So to find the length of a hypotenuse on a right angle triangle, you need to use Pythagoras. So one squared plus one squared will give you c squared. It's going to give you 2 is equal to c squared, so c is equal to the square root of 2. That's a hypotenuse there. The length is 2. Now the other thing is, how do we find out what these two angles are in the corners here? Well, we have an isosceles triangle. We know that this is 90 degrees here. So if we take out the 90 degrees, we're left with 90 degrees that we have to share between two equal angles. So that means that half of 90 will give you 45 here and 45 there. So you can see that 45 plus 45 plus 90 is 180 degrees. So what we have now is a triangle with 45 degrees in each corner, and we can start doing something like this. If I asked you what sine of 45 degrees is for this triangle, well sine is opposite over hypotenuse. You can write that as 1 over the square root of 2. Now if you type sine 45 into a calculator, you'll get 0 0.707, but what you can do now, instead of using the sine button, is you can type in 1 divided by the square root of 2. That also equals 0 0.707 as an irrational number. But what we now have is an exact value. We can express sine 45 by simply writing down 1 over the square root of 2. Now looking at this angle of 45, we can also find the value of cos. Cos 45, if we go from this value here, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, that's also going to give you 1 over the square root of 2. And once again, if you type cos 45 into your calculator, you'll get the same value, 0 0.707. So the last thing you're going to want to get from this is the tan value. So tan of 45 degrees. Well, what's tan? That's opposite over adjacent. So it's going to give you 1 over 1, and that equals 1. So if you type tan 45 into your calculator, you'll find that you get the answer of 1. So the second triangle over here is also going to come in handy for exact ratios. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say each side is too long. So with that information, can you find out the value of each of these angles? Well, because each of these sides is too long, we know it's an equilateral triangle. Now that means that each angle is also the same. So if I take 180 degrees divided by 3, these will all be 60 degrees. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to bisect this down the center and we need to find the height of the triangle. So I've bisected the triangle now. We have a right angle here. Now can you find the length of that green line? That's the perpendicular height of the triangle. Well if the base length is 2 and we're bisecting it, 
then what I can say is that each side is going to be one unit long. So here is one, and here is also one. Up here we have 60 degrees, but once again that's also been bisected. So instead of having 60, I'm going to rub that out, and we now have two values of 30 degrees on each side. Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take away the right hand side of this triangle because we have two of them and we only need one. If we use Pythagoras we can find the length of the green line and that's going to be 2 squared minus 1 squared and we square root that value. So it's the square root of 2 squared minus 1 squared. 4 take away 1 will give you the square root of 3. So we have the height here, it's the square root of 3. And with that information we can now use 60 degrees and 30 degrees to find some more exact ratios. So sine 60 is opposite over hypotenuse, so that's the square root of 3 over 2. If you type sine 60 into a calculator you'll get 0 0.866 as an irrational number, and over here on the right square root of 3 over 2 will also give you that same value. Cos 60 is adjacent over hypotenuse, that's going to be 1 over 2. Tan 60. Tan is opposite over adjacent, so you're going to get the square root of 3 over 1, or you could just write that as the square root of 3. Now for the 30 degrees, we can use that as well. So sine 30 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse, that's going to be 1 over 2. Cos 30 degrees. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's going to be the square root of 3 over 2 for cos 30, and the last one is tan 30. Tan 30 is opposite over adjacent, so that's going to be 1 over the square root of 3.